What's going on guys? T-Mart here, and today I'm you guys another episode of Black Ops 2 Whole Shot. So in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the map Hijacked. In episode 1, we looked at the map Raid. So if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go check it out. I will link it down in the description. But anyway, Black Ops 2 Whole Shot is a new series all about helping you do better right at the start of a match. No matter what game type you're playing, it just helps you get map control, helps you get shots on enemies, pre-nades, pre-stuns, things like that. To, uh, to help you get off to a good start. So let's get into it. Now, uh, starting off on Hijacked, if you spawn on the CDOM side, you got a couple of different options. So one is to rush to this little lounge area in the center of the map, which is very, very important. I mean, if you're playing Domination, this area overlooks BDOM. If you're playing Hardpoint, it overlooks the first Hardpoint. If you're playing TDM, it overlooks the center of the map, which is important to control. So really, this lounge area is something you want to have control of no matter what game type you're playing, and that's often why you'll see a lot of people rush towards this thing at the start of a spawn to try to take control of it. So uh, how do you get there first? How do you get this before the enemies do? Well, uh, the first thing you have to know is there's no advantageous spawn. So you're going to see here, they spawn in on both sides, they run towards that lounge, they're going to get there at the exact same time with the same class. So it doesn't matter what side you spawn on, you can still get there before the enemies. How do you do that? Well, you got a couple of options. One is you can use your running perks, so lightweight and extreme conditioning are both going to help a lot, as well as you can use the lighter weight weapons. So if you're rocking an SMG or a shotgun, Gun, those are the fastest running primary weapons in the game. If you want to use an assault rifle, make sure you have either a combat knife or a pistol as your secondary, switch to that at the start of the match, and then switch to your assault rifle once you get inside the little lounge area, and, and you're going to be good to go. You're going to be there before the enemies, you're going to be able to take them out, and it's going to be all good news. Now, uh, what else can you do from this CDOM side spawn? Well, uh, one thing you can do is you can just run straight through the middle and head right towards the middle of the map, and I typically would only suggest doing this in either domination or in hard point because in hard point running through the middle you can get to that first hard point in domination running through the middle you can get to be dom but other than that there's really no reason to do that you put yourself at a lot of risk there's a lot of ways that enemies could shoot you and kill you so only use that in hard point or domination and, and then finally, you could go to the left. So if you want to rush the side flank, this is actually a very, very good option. I like it a lot because you have way, way, way more cover than the enemy team does. You can use this sideways chair right here as cover, or you can move up and crouch on the stairs and use that as cover. And that's just, it, it's huge because they have no cover at all. You have a ton. You're going to be able to take them out with no problem. Now, uh, over on the other side of things, if you spawn on the ADOM side of the map, Obviously, with what we just saw, you don't want to rush the side flank because the enemy team is going to have the cover. You won't have any. You're going to be a sitting duck, and you'll probably be taken out. Now, uh, again, kind of like the first side, if you want to rush straight up the middle, you can, but I would only suggest it for domination or for hard point, again, because you can get to that first objective. And, and then finally, what are you left with? Well, you can rush left to that little lounge area, which, as we previously discussed, is equal with both sides. So uh, typically on the ADOM side, your best bet is to run to the left. Now, uh, what are we forgetting here? You know, we covered the three ways that you can go on top of the map. What are we forgetting? The bottom. That's right, baby. So if you guys have ever seen hijack gameplays on my channel, I'm pretty sure every single gameplay is going to have me starting off by running straight underground because it is so, so, so good. It's almost like everybody forgets that that underground is there at the start of the map because they're too concerned with getting that first kill or getting to the objective or whatever it is. And usually it's just a clear path right under there. You know, sometimes you might have to kill one guy, but usually you can just go straight under there, come up behind the enemy, get a quick three, four, five kills, run upstairs and start spawn killing them. It's just it's crazy how easy it is to get off to a good start on this map when you go underground. So make sure you guys take use of that whenever you want to and uh, and it's just it's really good highly recommended by me now uh, finally for the last part of this video I've got some pre-nade spots for you guys and they're really 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 simple on this map so it just depends if you want to run right or left throw it either over the lounge area or over the hot tub and just throw it straight with where you're running because both lanes are the exact same as you can see right here so just throw stuns throw nades do whatever you want to do slow down the enemies come out get a multi kill whatever you want to do it's just it's super simple yet nobody seems to do it so uh, anyway there you guys have it that was black ops two whole shot on the map hijacked hope you guys enjoyed just a quick recap here if you spawn the CDOM side of things you have a bunch of options you can rush right to the lounge which you have an even playing field with getting there first with the enemy team you can go towards the 
middle, but I would only do that if you're playing hardpoint or domination so you can get to those objectives. And, and then finally, you can rush left to the side flank because you have a huge advantage. You have the overturn chair and the stairs as cover, whereas the enemy team doesn't have anything. Now, over on the other side of things, on the ADOM side, you don't have as many options. I wouldn't rush right to the side flank just because, again, you don't have any cover while the enemy team does. I wouldn't rush middle unless you're playing hardpoint or domination. And then finally, you can rush left if you want to. That's probably your best option to get to that lounge. Now, finally, don't forget about the underground because everybody seems to forget about the underground at the spawn of the map. It's a great way to get behind the enemy team and get off to a really, really good start. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bunch of great videos coming soon. Check out one of the other two videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet. Peace out, guys.